Today we'd like to give you a brief introduction to the HOF 400 high-speed offline sheet feeder. The HOF 400 has been designed to run in line with the SPF 20 and SPF 200 series booklet makers as well as the stitch line of 5500. The HOF 400 is the highest speed feeding sheet feeder available on the market today. The HOF 400 is capable of running sheet sizes from 8x8 up to 14x24. The cover feed station is capable of handling a pile capacity of 7 and 3 quarter inches, while the high capacity sheet feeding station is capable of taking a load of 24 and a half inches of stop. And the cassette does lower down to the floor and a paper dolly can roll, be rolled into position so there's no need for lifting of paper up and down by the operator. Before I get into more detail about the operation of the system and how it works and the accessories that are available for it, I'd like to first show you the system running sheets from the high speed sheet feeder through the booklet making system at speeds over 40,000 per hour. vicinity of 43,000 sheets per hour and producing 3,000 booklets per hour. This of course was on a static feed page count that we were running. The next thing we're going to do is change the system over to show you the system running in variable page count and I'll explain how we do that in just a moment. If the stock has been loaded on the dolly offline, you can simply load the dolly into position and hit the up button to raise the paper up to its feeding height. Also, if the paper stock is going to be loaded onto the dolly while the dolly is in place, the operator can simply load paper onto the dolly and if it happens to be at a higher height, it will automatically seek the appropriate height for loading. That happens to be the maximum amount of paper that we're putting in at this time. You'll notice when the pile height reaches its upper limit that the tail and the side register guides will move into position. During the operation of the machine, 
you will notice that those rails constantly move in and out to jog the top sheets that are being separated by the ear to ensure consistent and accurate feeding. So the sheets that we're running in the job today for this particular job, it's a variable page count job and I believe that there's 12, excuse me, uh, 12 pages in one booklet and 20 pages in the next booklet. We've placed an OMR mark on the first sheet of the set and the last sheet of the set to indicate the beginning and end of a set. That's what allows us to do a variable page count within a run. You can choose to run with a single mark on the last sheet of the set or you can use a mark on the first and the last sheet. The purpose of having a mark on the first and the last sheet of the set is it also gives us an extra level of security because now we're counting the sheets in between the marks as well. So let us begin our production. We'll hit the start button and you'll notice the variable sheet count running through the system at about 28,000 sheets an hour. booklets that we're producing. One is a 12-page job and one is a 20-page job. We've left the OMR marks on the edge of the sheet just to demonstrate what we're utilizing to get to indicate the first and the last sheet of the set. Normally these would be trimmed off in the finishing process. As I mentioned, We are utilizing a rotary sharing process to trim the head and the foot of the booklet. So if you look at the size of my finished book as compared to the unfinished sheet, you can see that we are trimming on both the head and the foot together with our face trim, giving us a full, uh, fully finished three-side trimmed product. Where that really shows the highlights of the system is when running a job with a full bleed. In this particular case, we've done the crease folding on the spine, as well as a head and foot sharing, and a face trim to the pro pro uh, process, giving us full bleed throughout the finished product. A high quality finished piece through a high speed sheet feeding and saddle stitching system. In this portion of the demonstration, we're going to show you the cover feeder, CF400, inserting a cover on top of the booklet that we're just producing with a variable page count. It's very easily done by just choosing cover feed on the touch screen. I would like to point out though that from this screen we can choose to insert a cover on top 
insert a sheet as the center spread of the booklet, or we can choose to interpose a sheet anywhere within the booklet being fed from the high-speed sheet feeder. Additionally, if you're running a very heavyweight cover with a lot of coverage on it and you want to score it separately from the pages inside the book block, that can be chosen from this screen as well. So let's begin production. Now we'd like to run a job that demonstrates the full capability of the CR400 creaser and scoring unit running in conjunction with the HOF400 high-speed sheet feeder. We're running a job that requires a full bleed, so obviously the, the face of the book will be trimmed in the uh, FC20A uh, uh, face trimming unit. The head and the foot utilizing a unique rotary sharing system will share off the head and foot of the booklet creating a bleed trim at the head and foot and at the same time our rotary cross uh, creasing unit will crease the sheet so that when the sheet is folded even on this job which is digitally printed in cross grain there's no cracking of the material producing a booklet that is finished with full color bleeds on the cover and throughout the magazine so let's begin that process The waste trim is being delivered via the conveyor to a bin at the rear of the machine. The operator can choose from the touch screen to have the waste trim removal delivered to the front of the machine or the rear of the machine. A couple of other points that I'd like to uh, point out about the HLF 400. Uh, one is that we do have a color touch screen monitor. From that screen all set up and changeover is completed. We can store jobs into memory for repeat jobs that you run within the shop. Also, jobs that are set up uh, from the HOF and through either the booklet maker or the saddle stitcher, when setting up the finishing device, the booklet making or saddle stitching system, the setup of the HOF is done at the same time from the one operating screen at the finishing device. A couple of uh, other options that are not on uh, display here today during this demonstration, one is the CV400. The CV400 is a small module which sits in between either the high-speed sheet feeder and the creaser or the accumulator. And what this unit allows us to do is to easily mount barcode uh, reading system for reading from either the top or the bottom of the sheets that are being fed, giving us 100% document integrity, uh, allowing us to track each sheet that has been fed and ensuring that they have been fed in the proper order. Another feature that's available for the HOF 400 is a product called the HIF 400. This is an in-feed conveyor that allows us to take the HOF 400 and put it at the back of a collating tower system. What that gives us is a hybrid system 
allowing you to produce both digitally collated material and offset material from a collating tower through the same finishing system. In fact, running through the booklet making system, we're able to merge the collated material from the towers together with those sheets from the high speed sheet feeder. Hopefully we've answered a lot of your questions today and you can see why people are excited about the new HOF 400 capable of feeding at over 40,000 sheets per hour. Thank you and have a great day.